Hey, what's up everyone? Eric Ross, the guy with the eye here. And once again, if you came from the Canon video, that's fine, or vice versa, that's okay. But once again, if you're watching this right now, at the time of shooting, it's near the holidays, and you're getting a camera for the first time, or you or you had your camera for a little bit, and you clicked on this video because you're getting some error messages, you're not sure what some of this stuff means, and how to fix them. Well, don't worry, I'm here to tell you some of the common error codes and some of the uh, error messages that you're getting, and how to fix them in your Nikon DSLR. So. It could be a very, very easy fix. Or it could be something, you know, a little worse. But let's dive into that right now. And here are some of the fixes for the Nikon DSLRs. Let's go. So primarily, I am a Nikon shooter. And I pretty much always have been on the photography side of things. And I have noticed these errors myself. Some of them, for the most part. Some of them, I haven't. But I've helped. Uh, I've helped a lot of people before because I used to work in. Uh, I used to sell cameras and fix cameras a little bit and help out in that regard. So, so here's some of the uh, uh, common codes that you should look out for. And if you're getting, instead of flipping out crying, um, if you're under warranty, you shouldn't cry anyway. But here they are right now. The most common one, the most interesting one, is the blinking uh, FEE. -E, and I'll do my best to maybe throw up some of these pictures as well, uh, showing that. And the most common one, especially if you're using an older lens, I don't have one anymore, I would show you. So if you're getting the uh, lowercase f and capital EE -E blinking, that means the lens that you're using, especially if you, if, well, if you just bought a camera, this isn't your issue. But if you have an older lens that you're using and you're borrowing from someone and it has an aperture ring on it, and that's the one where you see it clicks, you can move it on the back. Uh, you'll see all the numbers on it if your apertures like f16, f, etc. You have that connected to your camera, but the issue is, you're not set on the maximum aperture. So that way your camera can't read that lens properly and expose properly. So what you have to do is simply just turn it to its maximum aperture, probably 16, it's probably 22, and it'll be in red or orange uh, on the lens, most, most likely orange. So make sure that that's clicked all the way to the far, the furthest aperture, and you will be okay. So set that high, that issue will go away and you should be noticed that you can be shooting right now. Another common one and an easy fix, hopefully, if you haven't done anything interesting is, it's a little like right angle type of triangle with an F next to it, and essentially that means the camera is not detecting your lens. So it's, the, it's this thing with an F. So the camera is not noticing that there's a lens on there. Uh, so what basically what you have to do is, so, you know, we have the little pins in our Nikon guys right here. So these little things. So there could be some kind of gook, some kind of junk on it. So essentially the easiest way to clean that, um, it could be two ways. You can use a, uh, like a Q-tip to clean that, which I don't find as effective as maybe like a pencil eraser, which doesn't really do much. and It doesn't damage anything. Just don't use anything liquidy, anything water. Unless it's really bad, then send it out and then get that looked at. But if you're getting that issue, it's because your camera is not detecting your lens. So that's something you can look into. So you just raise your camera up, you're going to take a photo, you turn it on, all of a sudden you notice this, these two dashes with a capital E in the middle. And that essentially means there's no memory card in the camera. Put a memory card in the camera, throw an SD card in the side, and that'll fix the issue and you should be able to uh, be good to go. Now this one's an interesting and it doesn't necessarily make sense 100%. But if you see a blinking in all caps CHA or CHR, all depending on what camera model you have, that means that there is an issue with your memory card. Essentially, what you did was you, uh, you took the, so you took photos, you took video, whatever you did, you went onto your computer, you uh, so you started copying images to your computer so that way you get them off your uh, your memory card and start editing them. But the issue was you never formatted the camera when you put, uh, you never formatted the card when you put it back in your camera. So you so this will probably be the easy fix. Go through your menu, go through the wrench icon, and hit format on your memory card. Once again, hopefully your stuff is saved, and that should fix the issue, and you should notice that that goes away. So I've had this one happen to me before when I started, and I got really freaked out because I didn't understand what was going on. I tried some of the things, but I didn't know about this. And say if you have a lowercase i within a circle, what is that supposed to mean? Well, basically there's some kind of information transfer error. There's some information error that isn't going right within your DSLR. So what do you do? Well, essentially it's one of two things. A, you, you don't have enough power to essentially use your camera. So your battery, battery could be really, really juiced, just not totally done, so it can still work, but it's not you know, strong enough to you know, produce its charge to, make you, to help you take photos. But also that, once again, it goes back to, it could go back to your memory card simply being locked. So essentially that's what it's not going to notice it. Or you're going to go back and you're going to notice that error. And it simply could just be unlocking your memory card, taking it out. There's this little switch on the bottom. 
It happens to everyone, you could have knocked it up once and just put that back down to unlock, put it back in, and that issue should definitely, definitely, definitely go away. So I'm just gonna kind of rifle off the last couple ones because they're really common and they're very, very easy to fix. Uh, well, not easy to fix 100%, but say all of a sudden you get a pop-up on the back of your screen, or depending on what you're using, and you see an error shutter uh, basically pop up where it says that you need to look into this more. One of two things, AKA your shutter is, you're, you're kind of screwed, your mirror is kind of messed up, it could be sticky, so you could clean that, but once again, this is where, if you get this error, I would definitely send this out under warranty, get this fixed by Nikon. I don't know what you're doing, maybe you're swimming in a thing of jello and you got your shutter messed up, but um, but yeah, that, that's a really, really big thing. The oil within it could have uh, definitely screwed up and you're, it's getting stuck, it's not working how it should, so this is why, <coughs> So this is why you're getting that error. So definitely look into that. Definitely most likely send that away if you, if you don't notice that there's any anything obvious uh, being intrusive to your camera shot. If you see the word full in brackets anywhere on your camera, that means your memory card is full. So essentially just uh, clean that off. So how about an F in between two dashes that is flashing? And that simply means that your lens is not on your camera. So if you Typically every Nikon DSLR, you need to put a lens on it for it to work and actually take photos and everything. So if you're trying to figure out just some things, but if you see that message and you haven't put on a lens yet, that's what it is. You simply just put on the, the kit lens that came with your camera, if it's that case, or you just put any lens on your camera and that will fix that as well. And lastly, and one of the most important ones involves um, arrows pointing towards each other. So essentially there'll be two arrows pointing towards each other on your camera. And that is saying that your camera is unable to focus at this time. So if you're trying to if you're trying to focus, I would you're probably in a lower light situation, and your camera's not able to achieve that by itself, which is which is common. That can happen. That takes a lot. Or if you find out that your lens is hunting too much, so if you're using autofocus and you're noticing it not locking focus, you will probably get that error. So with that, add more light. Use use a flash because the illuminator will help. Also, uh, with the focusing in low light, because it sends out the NIR beam if you want to do it that way, or essentially throw it into manual focus and go from there. So I know this was a different type of video, but it's a very, very thing. It's a very, very common thing a lot of people go through when they get their Nikon DSLRs, and it's just these messages that are that look so intimidating when they're pretty, pretty simple, you know. But if you're getting a shutter issue or something really, really deep and nothing's working, all that kind of stuff, you tried everything, you tried just taking out your battery from the uh, from your camera, you know, powering it off, trying it again, that's a simple reset that every DSLR uh, uses for the most part, kind of like a, uh, a hard reset, then you should look into getting it more of a professional service to clean or service your camera. When all else fails, send it out. If not, you can easily fix it, you know, <clears throat> so when all else fails, send it out. If not, you can easily fix it and go from there. So hopefully I helped you out a little bit. Once again, I know I know some of the viewers on this channel, this is very, very basic information, but also a good majority of you, this will really, really help. And once again, this is shot right before the holidays at the time of shooting this. So a lot of people are getting their cameras for the first time or they're upgrading and they might see a different kind of error message or code or something like that. Uh, and you can uh, essentially go from there. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. Once again, I used to do this stuff a lot uh, when I worked in camera retail. So hopefully this helped you out. Any questions or comments, write those down below. And across the gamut with the eye, the kind of error codes, don't be intimidated. Unless you have to pay for it out of pocket.